um, situation with your wife. It's kind of deep and it, it's yeah, that's hard. Cool. I appreciate it. But um, just, just it's, it's a crazy story out of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 24, verse 15. And the Lord, also the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, I take away from thee the desire of thine eyes with a stroke. Most high God is telling Ezekiel that he's going to take his wife away. You understand? He's taking his wife's life. Yet neither shalt thou mourn nor weep. Neither shall tears run down. The most high God told Ezekiel, I'm going to take your most precious uh, thing away from you. You know? And uh, I'll be honest with you, brother. I've been kind of dealing with a situation. With my, I've already been in the hospital. And it's, been, it's been real crazy. And now they got she's back home. But she left like she wasn't supposed to leave the hospital, but she did because they tearing her body up. And now they got a nurse coming to the house. And I think about, you know, if you lose your rib, that's a special thing. You think what I'm saying? And that's crazy. You just walked up because I, I talked to you. I talked to you. I talked to you about that's right. And it is like that, right? It is right there. So imagine how hard this is. He told Ezekiel, "I take away from thee the desire of thine eyes with a stroke. Yet neither shalt thou mourn nor weep." Neither shall tears run down. Forbear to cry. He said, don't cry. Make no mourning for the dead. Bind a tire in thine head upon thee and put on thy shoes. He said, get ready. Get on your battle. Get, 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 get back to work, right? Uh, upon thy feet and cover not thy lips and eat not the bread of men. So I spake unto the people in the morning and in the evening my wife died. I did in the mornings as I was commanded. And that's how hard it is because just like Abraham was about that's to sacrifice his right son, Abraham was about to sacrifice, that's, that's Ezekiel 24. Just like God was about to sacrifice, he had Abraham about to sacrifice. If you want to read that specifically, start at Ezekiel 24 and 15. Okay. But, and, and read on down. But that's how hard it is. Abraham was about to give up Isaac, his only son, right? And, 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 and the, what does the book of Matthew say? It says, he that loves his mother or his father or his children more than he loves me is not worthy of me. Most high willing, you follow the laws and commandments, you keep the faith of, of your child. And then you come back up and then you see her again. You understand? Because we ain't going to have to die like this no more. You understand what I'm saying, brother? So it's hardcore. Do you understand what I mean? Oh, man. Like, because when I, I've read that scripture before. Yeah. If you love mother or father more than me, right. you know what I mean? You're not worthy of me. Right. I'm like, wait a minute, but this is my mother. You That's know what right. I mean? I'm like, well, you know, I, I got an eight year old baby. The, yeah. idea, the idea of putting her on a table and grabbing a knife to, to, to sacrifice her to the Most High God. Man, I tell you, come out here in the cold and read the Bible. I pray to God I would have faith like that. Do you understand? If I was put in this situation, I come from gangbang, and I feel like if somebody put a gun to my head and say, eat pork, I'd be like, nah, I ain't eating it. Pull the trigger. Squeeze that. But to put my daughter on the table and pull a knife out, man, Abraham was on something different, bro. He told Ezekiel, I'm going to take your wife. Ezekiel was a prophet of God. He, ain't, he wasn't hanging out at the clubs. He had a bunch of homies. He had his wife. He go home and talk to his rib, man. That's his best friend. He was the, what did God call, God called her the, 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 the light of his eyes or something like that, right? Called him the, the desire of his eyes. And he took her away and he told him, don't cry. And he told him, don't let a tear run down. Don't sit around mourning and feeling sorry for yourself. Put your shoes on, get your boots on. Go out there and teach my people and feed the sheep. He taught from the morning until the evening the same day his wife died. I don't know if I could do that. I pray to God to build up my faith where I would be that strong. You understand? I talked to you before. I wanted to leave. I was, I'm supposed to leave. I'm going to leave. Maybe I was supposed to stay because I was supposed to see you, kid. I remember you talked to me about your wife, kid. Man, that's special, man. That's your rib. And that, that, not that she that literally came from Adam's rib, but she's that close to you. You become one flesh. So, 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 the Most High God wants you to make wisdom your next wife. See, that's what he said. He said, Most High wants you to make wisdom your wife. That's what it is.
want you to make wisdom the next wife because the Most High God does have a wife, and it's us. We are the bride. We're his bride. And he says it, and he says we're, we're actually like a whore's bride. We ain't like a good rib like we had. We were bad rib. We were we, we out whoring around. And he said that all through the Bible. We're like a whorish wife. And he said if you had a wife who went off and slept with another man, her, she'd be polluted. And I, you wouldn't want her back. But even though you did that with all these other gods, I still want you back. And it, it, and we're the chosen people, brother. And the Most High God is calling you, kid. Yeah, you gotta come I am tripping, kid. You gotta come out of that slumber. Like, I am tripping, kid. You gotta put, put your strength. Come up, you know what I mean? Come up out of that slumber. You get, I mean, that's going back to reading the book. Just yeah. read it. Just, just reading this book, man. Blessings be that read. So, you know, you gotta get back hard, 10 times hard, and read the book. Come just, 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 just to keep, to keep your mind. You know what I mean? For not going that way. Come. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. he said let the dead rest. So you gotta let it rest. You know what I'm saying? He said let it rest. So you gotta let the dead rest. And you gotta move on. I mean, I, I hope that don't sound too mean, right? <laughs> no, get him outside Iraq. No, brother. You know what I mean? I'll tell you one thing. It's easier said than done, though. Yes, right. See, that's right. See, before yeah, well, I got well. married, I never commented on marriage. Right. Because I don't know what that's like. That's right. I don't have children, so I never comment on a parent. You know right. what I mean? Right. But being in those shoes and being married, now I speak on it. You know what right. I mean? Many ways. Because it's something that I have experienced. But I'm just telling you, easier said than done. Like, right. you said, like well, his brother said, I pray. I pray that I have the faith and strength. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Because I consider with my people thinking in mind that when, 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 when Scripture says something like that, you know, and that, that uh, you know, if you love father or mother more, because I think about how, this is my opinion, it's a war, you know what I mean? It's a war with God and Satan. Brother got a, and, brother got a scripture for you. And if Satan can work through somebody, you know what I mean, yeah. to pull his side, then, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I think of, it's like, God forbid, but, you know what I mean? It's like, God is like, you know, he's not letting nothing through, you know what I mean? He's not, he's not letting nothing through, so it could be that the most special thing he has that, you know what I mean? Right. You're in the spirit. You're in the spirit, brother. You're in the spirit. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8, verse 1. Wisdom reacheth from one end to another mightily, and sweetly does she order all things. I loved her and sought her out from my youth. I desired to make her my spouse. And I was a lover of her Wisdom of Solomon chapter 8, verse 1 and 2. I'll read verse and that's 2 God for his people, right? God, God, this is this is Solomon. Solomon. He's Solomon. talking about wisdom, right? No, wisdom. Oh, okay. about wisdom, which is the law of the statute and the commandments, right? Okay. I loved her and sought her out for my youth. I desired to make her my spouse. And I was a lover of her people. That's the way he said the wisdom be your wife. Right. So now, you know what I mean? You just got to let the wisdom be your wife. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon. Solomon. You don't have an apocryphal, but you can find it online. But you can go online and find it. Or you can get an app or something. Yeah. Right. Wisdom of Solomon. Right. 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 I'm about to reach somebody in apocryphal too, King. Yeah. Yeah. This, is, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 22, verse 11. Weep for the dead, for he hath lost the life. And weep for the fool. For he wanted understanding. Make little weeping for the dead, for he is at rest. But the life of a fool is worse than death. Oh, that's hard. It almost rhymes too. Weep, look, make little weeping for the dead, because they're at rest. So the Bible is saying it's worse to be alive and to be a fool who doesn't have the wisdom of God. Then it is to die and be at rest. You understand? So, really, if you really were so in tune with the Most High God right now, she might be more worried about you right now because you're still fighting this battle. Yeah. 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 Yeah.